Out of the many different topics we could talk about for the Gamecocks this week, there's been tons of coaching situation. Hopefully the basketball team can get back out on the court this Saturday against LSU. But Tuesday, man. Tuesday, we all heard the heartbreaking news. I'm sure you have if you're a Gamecocks fan. And if you haven't, the breaking news is that five-star quarterback in the class of 2022, Gunnar Stockton, has decommitted from South Carolina. It hurt. I'm not going to lie. When I first read that news, when I first saw it, I didn't want to believe it. I got my news from no one other than Chris from the Spurs Up Show because he's on that. By the way, if you haven't followed, subscribed, do whatever, whatever platform you're on, you need to do that right now because Chris puts out some of the best content on all social media platforms for the Gamecocks. Best content on the internet for the Gamecocks. So definitely do whatever you can to follow the channel. Got my news from there and I was just like, man, oh man, that, it, it stung because you're like, you're looking forward to the next seasons and everything. You have, it looks like your teams, you're getting a new, you're getting a new coach. You have Mike Bobo in. It looks like you're rebuilding your program, but then you still have this sense of insurance in you that a bunch of our recruits are decommitting. We had a bunch of guys transfer, but yet we still have this five-star quarterback sitting in our hip pocket coming in in a couple years. And it seems like everything's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. We're going to get Gunnar Stockton in. He's going to be our first five-star quarterback that we've ever had, and everything's going to be just fine. Well, he decommits. It sucks. It hurts. But I just want to come out in this video and talk about there's no need to panic. There's no need to get overwhelmed by this. We are going to be okay. Just kind of like the thing with all the transfers or whatever. I came out and said the exact same thing. Now, just yesterday morning, I remember the first thing I open when I get on Instagram. I pop open the app. The first thing I see is a post from Gunnar Stockton himself posting for his girlfriend's birthday. So I I, I wasn't like, oh, that's uh, he's trying to rub it in. Like, it's just a post for his girlfriend, whatever. But I go into the comments because I knew that there were going to be Gamecock fans in there saying stuff like, come back to USC. There's some people like, we don't need you anyways. There's just a whole bunch of mix. There's some people wishing his girlfriend a happy birthday. There's a mix of the emotion in there for the Gamecocks fans. There are some Auburn fans in there, of course, too, and a bit of Georgia fans telling him to come over there. Yes, it sucks, but the last thing we can do is hinder Gunnar Stockton. There's a slight chance. I'm not saying there's a chance, like, that it's a huge possibility, but there's a slight chance still that he comes back because maybe he just wants to reevaluate. Maybe... He hasn't got a feel for Shane Beamer yet, and now that Mike Bobo left, who he is close with, he's like, you know what, maybe I gotta take a step back and reopen my options. Just to, I don't know, I'm not gonna say I'm officially not going to South Carolina, but just in case I want to decommit now, then rather later when the time comes when I'm close to signing, and then really screw them over and say, you know what, I'm going elsewhere. He could just be rethinking everything, so that's one bit. There's a slight chance he still may come back. In my opinion, the likelihood is I don't think he's coming back and we need to let it go. It's in the past. It's it's happened and we got to move on. Like there's a certain before recruits come in with a new head ball coach, I think that the culture needs to be built first and that's when you start to see the recruits come in. That's when you start to see the team getting good and that's when you start to see all these good things happen for these football programs. Let's look back at the team like, let's say 2013 Gamecocks. Did you see any of the guys on that team that made us that close to championship winning football team that really dominant the fourth best team in the country at the end of the season? Did you see any players on that team who did not want to play for South Carolina? We had talent on that team. They could have gone elsewhere anytime they wanted. Like, if Alabama called or anything, they could have gone. Like, they had the talent to be able to go to these other programs. But did they? No, they stuck with South Carolina because they believed in the culture that they were building around this program and they believed in what was going on in that program. That's all Shane Beamer's got to do. Before the recruits come in, before you start seeing us pluck these five-star guys out of Georgia, out of Tennessee, out of Clemson, out of Florida, out of Alabama's mouths, we had to build a culture around our program. We had to build a winning culture and a culture of guys who just want to be complete savages and all they want to do is win. We can't have any of this other stuff about, you know what, maybe it's all about me. I got to get to the draft. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to go somewhere where I can play more. If he doesn't want to be a Gamecock, 
He doesn't have to be a Gamecock. No hard feelings there. I just want the guys on this team who want to be Gamecocks, who want to be a part of what Shane Beamer is going to do and bring in this winning program. So that's all I have to say for this video. No hard feelings against Gunnar Stockton. I completely understand it. He was good friends with Bobo. He still is good friends with Connor Shaw. There is a connection there. And Connor Shaw is still on her staff. So there is a good chance that could influence Gunnar Stockton into maybe coming back. Again, I wouldn't count on it, but there is a chance. But other than that, if you don't want to be a Gamecock, you don't have to be a Gamecock. I want guys who uh, want to be Gamecocks on this team. This goes for the coaching staff. This goes for the players. This goes for the janitor staff. This goes to anyone that steps foot into that football facility. There's no other program that they'd rather be in than South Carolina, and that's who I want in that facility. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I appreciate it. Definitely come back next time.